What's up, homies? Nick M. Witt here, Nicholas M. Whittier, with another tutorial, this one dealing with Falcon vs. Sheik. A matchup that has plagued low-level players for a long time, and frankly, can be difficult at any level. So this is going to be a three-part tutorial. This one is obviously the first part, going to deal with the most basic, easily digestible situations. There's definitely some important things that won't be covered in this tutorial, like dealing with Sheik's up tilt, because that's a very strong move that has a lot of nuance when it comes to dealing with it. Uh, so right now we're going to talk about yeah, very, very basic stuff. Now, let me apologize in advance. I've had a lot of technical difficulties when it's come to making this video, so I've had to remember the adage, the perfect is the enemy of the good, and I just want to get it out there and get the information out there, even though a lot of the... Uh, video might look rather unpolished. So let's get right into the first situation that I want to talk about. The first thing that we're going to talk about that's difficult for Falcon players to deal with, especially at lower levels, is that his own neutral air is not a terribly effective neutral game tool in the matchup. Even though in other matchups it's pretty safe, he's got good range, he can use his aerial drift to make it even safer, but it's just not very good against things she like to do, and especially not good against this move. But it's not just forward tilt. Of course, the forward tilt has been hugely problematic for Falcon players, especially at lower levels and even at times higher levels. But Falcon players have figured out lots of ways to deal with it. And, you know, that's like part of why Mewtwo King wasn't as fierce in this matchup in his later years of being active. Because Falcon actually does have a lot of tools that can deal with forward tilt even if some of them are hard to execute. But anyway, the point is that doing neutral air too much is going to cost you. Um, so Sheik has lots of ways to beat it, and here's a few of them. For itself, Trade, where the first set of Falcon Snare has almost no knockback, so the other character will always be actionable first. In a higher percent, this can even fit you into a knockdown, resulting in a tech chase. Uh, sometimes you can jump out and avoid the tech chase, but then you the air without a jump. F tilt can beat it out because it's faster. You can out space it because it has a huge hitbox. You can get slapped at many different timings, many different spacings. Same can be true for back air. Sheik's jump squat is faster and her aerials are faster too. Her crouch is insane. She can crouch the first hit and hit before the second. She can low profile it with her crouch or her dash. You can literally just spam the C stick sometimes. Uh, you can run under and cross them up, grab them like that. So yeah, the neutral air has a lot of counters, and yeah, in some of those down smash clips, I was literally just hitting down on the C-stick uh, as fast as I could, because down smash is really fast too, and there's a lot of time between the hits of the neutral air. So, not spamming neutral air as you do in other matchups is one of the most important things to learn as a Falcon player here. Now, I should note that if you hit Sheik out of the air with neutral air, it can be very juicy, and it's probably your best combo move when you hit her out of there, especially at lower percents. Like, you know, getting Nair into Nair into Grab, that can be a great conversion. And, you know, if you hit her on the ground she doesn't hold down, it can be a good combo starter. But it's just really un unreliable. It won't always lose like it does in these clips. Obviously, there's different timings, different spacings, but it is super unreliable. So don't predicate your game around it. So let's say you're playing against a Sheik whose neutral typically revolves around some mixture of walking, forward tilting, wave dashing back, and throwing needles. Here's a bunch of ways to counter the forward tilt. The easier and more practical options first, and the more difficult and rewarding options last. So, first and foremost, dash, dance, grab. Sheik's forward tilt has a huge hit back, a good bit of end lag as well. Run up, crouch, cancel, grab. Easy as hell. Or tilt the space too far to crash cancel grab, no problem. Run up, crouch cancel, dash, jump cancel grab. And if you want, even pivot grab to throw her the other direction. So on top of that crouch cancel grab right there, there's also ways to beat it with stomp. If you time your stomp for the end lag, then, uh, you know, it does have a good bit of end lag, it's noted. It has a terrible hitbox behind it, so cross up stomp can be pretty good. You can drift in with late arrow, like that late up air, light knee. Um, you're going to stop, maybe with a pivot. Uh, you can outspace it with a pivot forward smash. Or hell, don't space it. Just beat it with a clank and a forward smash. Here's a couple tips, real quick, to deal with Sheik's down smash. Now, for most moves, melee shield dying in is good because it lessens the chance of you getting shield poked. 
and it also can set you up for a punish, like a shield grab. Now, for Sheik's Down Smash and Peach's Down Smash, this is not the case, because they have multiple hits. In order to get a good punish, you want to get hit only by one hit. So, you'll want to shield the eye away, or neutral shield the eye, depending on your spacing. Now, I do think technically it's possible to get a wave dash grab if you get hit by two hits, but it's very easy to mess this up because it's almost frame perfect and you're likely to get spot dodge grabbed. And this is particularly true if you intended to only get hit by one hit. And then you had to very quickly adjust your sense of timing. So be extra diligent about getting the proper shield DI on Cheek's Down Smash. So like right here, multiple hits, that's not a real punish. One hit, you can knee, you can stomp, or you can wave dash grab. Here's some tips for dealing with Sheik's Needles. They're by no means comprehensive. Um, for example, if, like if Sheik Needles your shield, a lot of times you'll want to roll to avoid getting grabbed, but good Sheiks will be ready to read the roll. Or sometimes if Sheik does aerial needles, power shielding them can lead to funny situations, and that can be good. But here's a couple rules of thumb that will be helpful for the most basic situations. The first is that if you get hit by a fat stack of grounded needles, uh, try to smash the item, assuming you didn't shield. So there's a non smash the item stack of needles. Here's smash the eye away. See how far you can go there? That's smash the eye in. You can even grab them a lot of time. The Sheik is actually buffering a spot dodge there and didn't manage to get it out. Or, you know, if you're a little slow, maybe you can bait the spot dodge and uh, punish them that way. So yeah, uh, smashing the needles will let you dramatically alter your spacing to set up for the next neutral game situation. And the other one is that if Sheik is throwing aerial needles, you know, generally Falcon players will be like, Ooh, other character in the air. Up air, really good move, so I should try to hit them with up air. But fortunately, up air hits at this trajectory, and the needles come down at this trajectory. So the needles will just beat out your up air. So what would be better to do is to run under the Sheik. So here's just a clip from my stream last night. So yeah, run under the needles, and then grab them from behind. I'll show it one more time real quick. So uh, even if there's a platform for them to land on, Running under them can still be good because it can let you set up for a shield poke or baiting out a shield drop and maybe dash dance grabbing them or getting a crouch cancel punish. So yeah, running under the needles is better than challenging them. All right, so that about takes us to the end of the situations that I think you really just got to have unlocked to have a chance against Sheik. Now let's talk about one big macro game idea and a consequence in the micro game. So the idea is that Sheik's attacks are fast. Their frame data have very low startup. Now, Falcon's moves have a lot of startup. So even though Falcon's moves have good hitboxes, Sheik's both have good hitboxes and good startup. So Falcon can't really leverage his hitboxes as easily in this matchup. Now, on the other hand, Sheik's movement is not nearly as good as Falcon. Uh, Falcon is much faster than Sheik and has a much bigger dash range. So... This ends up being difficult for Sheik on larger stages, contesting Falcon's movement. He can kind of just pick his engagements very freely and try to bait her out using her better movement. So, you know, for this reason, a lot of times larger stages tend to be more favorable for Falcon, and he struggles on the smaller ones like Founder Dreams and Yoshi Star. Now, one of the problems here is that no matter what stage you're in, if you end up in the corner or on the leg, then you can't really leverage your movement as easily. And you might end up playing a scrappy game where you're close to her and her normals are much better than yours. So you're like at a huge disadvantage. And maybe you end up rolling in. I'm sure we'll all roll past Sheik a lot of times in our lives and it'll get us out of the situation a lot of times. But if they don't like kind of commit at the wrong time, right, right as you're starting up your roll, you're likely to just end up in another scrappy situation where you're like right next to Sheik and again at a strong disadvantage or maybe she's doing like space aerials or auto cancel forward air or something like that where just rolling next to her doesn't actually get you out of the situation. So for this reason I think that uh, playing out of the corner is like super important and you have a few options uh, against Sheik. Also um, no shame in doing the occasional YOLO Raptor music. You can definitely outspace her um, if, if she like does it tilt at the wrong time spacing. Now, don't do it too much. Obviously, you're gonna get punished if you do. So, here's a here's a, just a couple quick examples um, from when I was playing in tournament. So, last week I played Spark, and um, he's not the Falcon. I'm the Falcon. He's the sheep. 
Here's just a um, quick example. Falcon's Ledge Ash is a little bit slept on. Or it actually does give decent glint. Then Sheik's moves off. Most of them don't have very good hitboxes, like reverse hitboxes, they're like behind her. So here, really easy ledge dash, dash through on the forwarder, get behind her, get a grab, and then get a kill. Really uh, reasonably straightforward. Now, um, conversely, you might end up in situations like this in your life where you did something off the ledge, like a, an air or up air or something, then you end up below the Sheik on the platform. And then the Sheiks are likely just want to swat you off right away and they're thinking about their follow-ups and a whiff punish but uh within if you're quick you can get a crouch cancel out before she gets her move out and because she's mostly thinking about hitting you and with trying to whiff punish you she's likely to not be in the mindset of like getting a perfect spacing or a super late aerial as she's descending from the platform and then you can set up for a crouch cancel and even if it's not like 100 percent guaranteed to get the crouch cancel dash grab um, if they're not ready yet for it, it's extremely likely. Um, so then, yeah, you can potentially get an opening just baiting her to, to swing at you at a slightly, slightly unsafe timing. Now, I should also say, generally as Falcon, going to the platform tends to be a decent option, but I would not really recommend this against Sheik because her back air is giant and will just kind of beat you out if you're coming from above and she's in center. And also, her forward air has a very similar, um, like, coverage of up in, in front of her that's like Mars forward air, and also it's really quick startup. So they're great for contesting the platforms. Um, so for this reason, I would generally recommend just like staying grounded and trying to outplay her in these ways. That does it for the first part of this tutorial. The second part of the tutorial will be about ledge guarding Sheik, much like my video about ledge guarding Marth. This one won't be quite as long, not quite as much to say about it. She has a ton of mix-ups, but mostly because her up B isn't quite as threatening. Uh, refreshing your own invincibility isn't so nuanced. We won't have to absolutely dissect that. And then the third part of the tutorial will be about extreme niche situations that don't come up very often, but they'll be really rewarding if you have the outplay on deck to counter your opponent. So, if you enjoyed this tutorial, found it useful, feel free to drop me a follow on Twitter right there. And I stream almost every day on Twitch at twitch.tv slash nickmwit, N-I-C-K-E-M-W-I-T. And you can click subscribe on this YouTube channel as well. Alrighty, peace out, homies.